Hey everyone, welcome back to Walk and Study. Today we will be going over some advanced English vocabulary. This video is great for anyone studying for the GRE, TOEFL, or IELTS, or anyone who wants to learn some important and advanced English vocabulary. As we work through these words, we will be walking through Teos, an ancient city in Izmir, Turkey. Our first word is solecism. Solecism is a noun, and it means a grammatical mistake or a blunder in one's speech. Using solecism in a sentence, we could say, My uncle always uses the solecism ain't. So, my uncle always uses the grammatical mistake ain't. So, solecism is not just a grammatical mistake, but it can also be used when talking about a breach of good manners or kind of acting the incorrect way in a certain situation. So using solecism with this definition in a sentence, we could say, Minerva's grandmother criticized her for committing the social solecism of not putting the silverware in the correct place on the table. So, Minerva's grandmother criticized her for committing the social blunder, mistake, or faux pas of not putting the silverware in its proper place on the table. Our next word is liberal. Liberal is an adjective, and it can mean tolerant or broad-minded, but also generous or lavish. Using liberal in a sentence, we could say, James's liberal parents trusted him and allowed him to manage his own affairs to a large extent. So, James's tolerant and broad-minded parents trusted him and allowed him to manage his own affairs, his own life, to a large extent. We could also say, Wanda's sister cut her a liberal piece of pumpkin pie. So, Wanda's sister cut her a generous or lavish slice of pumpkin pie. Some synonyms of liberal include bounteous, munificent, permissive, and progressive. Okay, our next word is pithy. Pithy is an adjective, and it means profound or substantial, yet concise, succinct, and to the point. Using pithy in a sentence, we could say, Martha's pithy comments during the interview must have been impressive because she got the job. So, Martha's profound or substantial, yet also concise, succinct, and to the point comments during her interview must have been impressive because they resulted in her getting the job. We could also say, the stand-up comic responded to her heckler with pithy insults of her own. So, the stand-up comic responded to the heckler, or the person who was criticizing or interrupting her performance, with some pithy, so short, concise, but profound and substantial insults of her own. Synonyms of pithy include brief, compact, laconic, and terse. Our next word is perspicacious. Perspicacious is an adjective, and it means shrewd, astute, or keen-witted. Using perspicacious in a sentence, we could say, Sherlock Holmes used his perspicacious mind to solve mysteries. So, Sherlock Holmes used his shrewd, astute, or keen-witted mind to solve mysteries. Some synonyms of perspicacious include insightful, intelligent, and sagacious. Our next word is stigma. Stigma is a noun, and it means a mark of shame or discredit. 
Using stigma in a sentence, we could say, in some cultures there is a stigma around eating pork, but in other cultures it is considered acceptable. So, in some cultures there is a sort of mark of shame or discredit that comes with eating pork, but in other cultures it is considered acceptable. We could also say, Lucas was afraid that the stigma of having gone to prison would always be with him. So, Lucas was afraid that the mark of shame or discredit that came with having gone to prison would always be with him. Some synonyms of stigma include blemish, blot, opprobrium, stain, and taint. Our next word is impetuous. Impetuous is an adjective, and it means quick to act without thinking. Using impetuous in a sentence, we could say, It is not good for a judge to be impetuous, since much thought should be given to the cases at hand. So, it is not good for a judge to be quick to act without thinking, because much thought should be given to the cases at hand, or the cases that that judge is considering in the moment. We could also say, Though Jacinda was an impetuous child, she became a patient adult. So although Jacinda was quick to act without thinking as a child, she grew into a patient adult. Synonyms of impetuous include impulsive, rash, reckless, and spontaneous. Our next word is repudiate. Repudiate is a verb, and it means to reject the validity of something. Using repudiate in a sentence, we could say, The old woman's claim that she was Russian royalty was repudiated when DNA tests showed she was of no relation to them. So, the validity of the old woman's claim that she was Russian royalty was rejected when DNA tests showed that she was of no relation to them. Some synonyms of repudiate include deny, disavow, disclaim, disown, and renounce. Our next word is stasis. Stasis is a noun, and it means a state of static balance or equilibrium, or it can also mean stagnation. Using stasis in a sentence, we could say, The rusty, ivy-covered World War II tank had obviously been in stasis for years. So, the rusty, ivy-covered World War II tank had obviously been in stagnation for many years. Our next word is anachronism. Anachronism is a noun, and it means a thing belonging or appropriate to a period other than that in which it exists, especially a thing that is conspicuously old-fashioned. Using anachronism in a sentence, we could say, The movie about Abraham Lincoln was historically accurate except for one large anachronism, the bright yellow Ford Mustang that he drove around Washington, D.C. So, the movie about Abraham Lincoln was historically accurate except for one thing which was not appropriate to the period or time, and that thing was the bright yellow Ford Mustang that Abraham Lincoln used to drive around Washington, D.C. Our next word is prattle. Prattle is a noun, and it means meaningless, foolish talk. Using prattle in a sentence, we could say, Her husband's mindless prattle drove Heidi insane. Sometimes she wished he would just shut up. So, her husband's mindless, foolish, and meaningless talk drove Heidi insane, and sometimes she wished he would just shut up. Some synonyms of prattle include babble, blather, chatter, drivel, and gibberish. Our next word is amalgamate. 
Amalgamate is a verb and it means to combine or to mix together. Using amalgamate in a sentence, we could say, giant industries amalgamated with mega products to form giant mega products incorporated. So, the company Giant Industries was combined with or mixed together with the company Mega Products to form a new company called Giant Mega Products Incorporated. Some synonyms of amalgamate include blend, coalesce, combine, commingle, compound, fuse, intermingle, and merge. Our next word is acidulous. Acidulous is an adjective and it means sour in taste or manner. Using acidulous in a sentence, we could say, The acidulous taste of the spoiled milk made me want to throw up. So, the sour taste of the spoiled milk made me want to throw up. Our last word is onerous. Onerous is an adjective and it means troublesome and oppressive or burdensome. Using onerous in a sentence, we could say, the assignment was so extensive and difficult to manage that it proved onerous to the team in charge of it. So, the assignment was so extensive and difficult to manage that it proved burdensome, troublesome, and oppressive to the team in charge of it. Some synonyms of onerous include arduous, backbreaking, cumbersome, difficult, exacting, formidable, laborious, rigorous, and trying. All right, with that, we've gone over some more advanced and important GRE vocabulary. I hope this lesson was helpful to you all. As always, subscribe below, give us a like if you found this video useful, and let us know in the comments section what else you'd like to learn about or see in our next walk and study lesson. Thanks, everyone. Take care.